Are you ready for a pixie book? Come on and listen in! With stories full of wonder, it's time now to begin. <laughs> Hello there, children. How are you today? I have a very special story just for you. It's about a young girl who thought she needed special shoes to be happy. Are we all comfy and ready to begin? Here we go. The Red Shoes. Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Karen. Even though her family was very poor, they always tried their best to give Karen everything she ever needed. They raised her to be kind and generous. Even though they had very little, there were other families who had even less. Every day, Karen would walk to school and pass by a shoe store with bright red shoes in the window. Can I have those, Mom? Karen would ask her mother. No, Karen, your black shoes are fine, said Karen's mom. But they are old and black and ugly, Karen would whine. Yes, but they are comfy and will last, her mom said. One year before her birthday, Karen's parents saved enough money to give her a gift. Spend it on something special, her father said. On her way to school the next day, Karen stopped at the shoe store and used her birthday money to buy the red shoes she had wanted for years. The lady at the store said they only had the small size of the shoes, but Karen didn't care. She wanted the shoes and would make her feet fit. Karen put her old black shoes in her backpack and put on her new bright red shoes. As soon as she put them on, she could not stop smiling. The rest of the walk to school, she could tell everyone was looking at her and admiring her shoes. As she walked by, compliments filled her ears. Wow, look at those shoes. How beautiful. Those are some great dancing shoes. When she got to school, all Karen could think about was her new red shoes. During her classes, when she was supposed to be learning, she was drawing and doodling her shoes. She was busy thinking about her shoes. She didn't listen when her teacher said there would be a test the next day. That day, when she walked home, all she could think about were her shoes. Again, people ooed and awed about her beautiful red shoes. Karen thought about her shoes throughout the evening when she was supposed to be studying for the test. Karen thought about her shoes at night when she closed her eyes at bedtime and even thought about the red shoes while dreaming. The next morning, Karen's feet hurt from wearing her new shoes all day, but she didn't care. Karen put them back on and walked to school. Listening to everyone's compliments made Karen smile and believe she was beautiful. Even though her feet hurt, she felt like the most beautiful girl in the world. When she got to school, she sat at her desk and was handed the test. Uh, I didn't know there was a test today, she told her teacher as she looked around at the other kids writing down the answers. Well, do your best, the teacher said. Karen tried to focus, but her feet were hurting too much. She only managed to write her name when the time was up. Karen was sad at lunch and was worried about what her parents would say about her test. But then, one of the popular girls came up to her and said, Wow, I like your shoes. I'm having a party on Saturday. Do you want to come? Karen said yes excitedly and accepted the invitation. Karen was happy again. Her new shoes got her invited to her first party. These shoes were even better than she thought. They must be magic shoes. She didn't care that her feet were hurting with every step she took. After school, Karen ran home as fast as she could, 
thinking about her shoes. When she got home, she took her shoes off to find her feet were blistered, red and sore. She asked her mom for a hot foot bath to soothe her feet. That night, Karen went to sleep thinking about her shoes. The next morning, Karen got ready for the party. She very carefully put her shoes on and began walking to the girl's house for the party. But Karen could barely walk. With every step, tears fell from her eyes. Finally, Karen couldn't take it. She sat on the side of the road crying. Excuse me, why are you crying? A little girl asked Karen. My shoes are hurting my feet. They don't fit, but I wanted them so bad, Karen cried. Those are very pretty shoes. I wish I had shoes like that, but I don't have shoes, the little girl said. Karen looked at the little girl's bare feet. They were smaller than Karen's and beaten and bruised from walking barefoot. Here, do you want them? Karen asked, taking her red shoes off and giving them to the little girl. Wow, thanks! Well, they fit perfectly! The little girl squealed and ran off in her bright new red shoes. Karen pulled out her cell phone and called her mom to bring her the old black shoes she had abandoned a few days ago. Putting them on, Karen walked the rest of the way to the party and danced with her new friends all day. No red shoes, no blisters, no hurting feet. In fact, Karen didn't think of the shoes at all. She just thought about how much fun she was having in her old, comfy black shoes. The end. What do you think, kids? I think Karen was raised well by her parents to be kind and generous. <laughs> See you next time. If you have a story you'd like to hear, then comment below and I'll ask Storybook if he knows it.